funny, I just got back from off the road. Comics, we don't really do much when we're on the road, except stay in the hotel room and watch TV. And I'm flipping through some of the stations and I'm watching these programs like Povich and Springer. And I'm noticing white people, some of y'all's kids is out of control. I always wanna ask y'all, why don't y'all beat y'all kids? Y'all give y'all kids all kind of timeouts and special places. What the hell is a special place? To a black child, that's a coma, what is that? Black kids don't know nothing about timeout. We know about getting knocked out, that's it. My mother used to slap the out of me in public and I would look at people for help. Like, shut up. <sighs> White people felt my pain. Oh my God. Black people see black kids get hit. They like, hey, hey, get your together. Black people will beat other people's kids if they messing up too bad. Like, miss, you need to whoop this ugly man. Put that down. Here's my website, email, home address. Call me. I'll kick his ass anytime you need. You ain't got to kill him. Just watch him turn red. Just watch him turn red. Just beat him. You know what I found out growing up? It shocked me. White kids are just as shocked to find out black kids don't talk back to their parents as we are when we hear them talk back to theirs. Because I used to have a little buddy would come over to my house on the weekends, a little Nate. We'd be in my room playing video games. My mother used to come in the room on us and cuss me out for no reason. Just scare the hell out of both of us. We'd be in the room playing Mario Brothers. She'd come kick open the door like SWAT. <laughs> we on level four. She just, <sighs> every time many times that I told you to clean this room? Cut that damn game off and clean this room. I come back, this room ain't clean. I'm gonna take that Nintendo cord, wrap it around your neck and stick it in your ass. Boy, I ain't playing with you. This ain't no threat. This is a problem. Try me, boy. Try me. <laughs> My white friend would turn to me offended, like, dude, what the hell? She can't do that, man. This is your space, this is your area. She's violating your right to privacy. You should say something. You want me to go say something? I'd be so scared, I'd start talking to him like a slave from Roots, like, you was gonna get me in trouble. I like you, Nate, I really do. But my parents is good black folk. They gives me food, they gives me sleeps. Now you get away from round here with that foolishness. Get from here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, Lord. Look, some of the black people chiming in. Let my people go. My mother smacked the white boy. He turned into me. Wait in the water. That's foreign to a lot of the white people. You're like, really? Speaking of physical abuse, before I go, I gotta talk about an interesting experience I had with one of my favorite athletes, Mike Tyson. I know a lot of people don't like Mike, but I like Mike. I'm with Mike to the end, which is now, but I'm with him. I actually met Mike, man. It was really crazy, because I'm such a big fan of his. I did this show called The Best Damn Sports Show, and I'm sitting on a panel, and it's me, Tyson, Tom Arnold, and John Sally. And Tom Arnold puts me on the spot and turns to Mike and says, Mike, Aries does a good impression of you. Aries, do it. <laughs> you can smell the feces already, can't you? <laughs> and usually when I do impressions in front of actual celebrities, they all say the same thing. Oh my God, that was very nice. I'm flattered, thank you. But with Mike, it was weird because I did the impression and I was like, you know, I love boxing and everything that it's done for me. But sometimes I get very frustrated with the media, which is why I get very tyrannical with you. <laughs> And Mike was kind of laughing, but he wasn't. And he had like this snarl on his face. And after about six seconds, he finally said, you know, if you did that two or three years ago, how to chase you down the street and punch in the spleens. <laughs> but based on where I'm at in my life right now, I'm very flattered, thank you. And after he said it, I was cool, but I can't lie, I peed a little bit. <laughs> it wasn't like a big stain, just boop, just a drop, but I didn't want to get <laughs> on TV. Listen, y'all have been fun. Thank you.